What's going on guys? It's Noah and Adriana and welcome to a new series of sorts. Um, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> uh, we're calling it day trips. Um, we're basically just going to be spending one day where we just go somewhere, somewhere interesting. Um, for example, today we are traveling to Cheyenne, Wyoming uh, because it's about an hour or so away from us. Yeah. And um, I think the main point of these trips is just to show like how easy it can be to get out and experience yeah, the world. Like I mean, granted, it's very limited and it's it's only like Colorado, Wyoming, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some Utah. Um, potentially, we could end up, I don't know, like the Grand Canyon and things like that. Um, but things that you can do in just one day to get out and just experience. adventure a little bit. There's some things I feel like that just in general you take for granted, you know, like one of the things for us that we've talked about about a billion times is how we live in Colorado. And so the Rocky Mountains are just something that's always there. It's something that we take for granted all, all every day. We should. We should. That's, that's going to be one of our stops. We'll probably go to Rocky Mountain National Park here pretty soon because that, that one's almost as close, if not closer than it is to come to Cheyenne. But we are here in Cheyenne today. We've got three major destinations on our checklist. Um, number one is the state capital. Um, I feel like if we go to a different state where we're near, if we go to the capital city of a state, um, the Capitol building will always be one of the landmarks we, we check out. Um, landmark number two is going the to boots. be the boots, <laughs> which um, are near... I, they're they're right out front of the uh, the train station, the old the old train station that is now a museum, um, in Cheyenne. And the third one is the train roundhouse, and I have no good reason for wanting to go there other than it's one of the only other things I can really think of in Cheyenne that's different from where we would normally be. Um, I I don't I mean there's there's no roundhouse in like Longmont, Louisville, Loveland, uh, Greeley, Denver, any of those places. So. It's one of those things that's something we don't get to see every day, so that's the third landmark we're going to check out today. And then we're probably just going to eat and Likely. <laughs> Unless we think of anything else, but... Join us for the trip, guys. We hope you enjoy coming with us, and we hope we... Um, what's the word? Uh, inspire <laughs> some of you guys to just see what's close to you. I mean, if you're not in Colorado, if you're in a different state, see, see what's within a couple hours of you and just get out there and just do something some something crazy maybe just experience the world we're gonna get going guys first we gotta get some gas State Capitol right now. Um, I'll take a picture. Yeah, we need to take pictures. It's pretty cool looking. And then um, there's an uh, Air National Guard base nearby. Oh, okay. Hop over there and just go and see what's up. But yeah, I'll be right Stop by the boots. <laughs> All the boots. We're going to go to the boots. <laughs> and I'll take a picture of the boots. Look at this cool. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to rain. 
but now what we're gonna do is make our way to one of the booths. Um, if you guys don't know, Cheyenne, Wyoming has these like boot sculptures um, scattered around downtown. We're gonna go check one out. I have a um, picture of myself when I was a little girl when I came up to Wyoming a couple years ago. I don't know how old it was, but if I find that photo, I'll show you guys. We can throw it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I know where it is. For anyone who lives in Longmont, the boots here are similar to the, the geese in Longmont. They got the big old geese statues around. As a matter of fact, my uncle actually painted one of them. And I, yeah, I will add a photo of that goose in the video so you can see that too. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go find a boot and then probably go to the roundhouse. So these are the first two boots that you find when you get here. Um, this one appears to have most of the governors of Wyoming on it. We got 1869. It's crazy one down here. Um, the most recent one we found 2003 to, is 2003. So we'll have to do some research and see if he or she is still the active governor of Wyoming. Because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where else you would put another governor if there was, because it seems like it's pretty full. Um, but then you got here the statue of... Um, who is this? I'm not sure who she is. It doesn't say, so that'll, that'll take some more research as well. Um, but she represents women's right to vote. The first state in Wyoming. there. We will probably come back to another time. If I recall correctly, I believe this was actually like the main train station in Wyoming. Um, it's like you, you could travel from like Denver here and this is where you go. Kind of like in Denver we have Union Station, I believe. Yeah. We got Union Station in Denver. And um, Union Station is actually still an active train station, though. Um, but it just appears to me that this has been converted into a museum. Because Cheyenne doesn't have, like, a, a transit system like we do in Denver. Um, but yeah, he, oh, here's a free train. <laughs> so, I mean, things are adding up that this was originally the train station here in Wyoming. Because, I mean, there's railroad tracks right behind it, so... <laughs> logic would suggest but yeah so our next stop i believe is going to be the roundhouse because i think we went to everything else we already talked about so let's go find the roundhouse um, i think there's a place we can go where we can at least see the roundhouse but i don't know how well we're going to be able to see it but this is the museum after a grueling drive from a parking space over there all the way over here where we now parked <laughs> found out this is where we are supposed to be able to see it yeah, no. but right now it's not open they closed at five so if this is where we had gone first we would have been fine but we didn't so I'm thinking if we go up on this bridge right here well there it is if we go up on this bridge right here we should be able to see it but it's gonna have to be a drive past thing kind of deal um, yeah so we're probably gonna go get food really quick and then we're gonna do that alrighty we just finished eating dinner I had taco John's for the first time in my life and I rate it a three and a half out of five stars <laughs> you always scare me because I never know if you're going out of five or ten stars <laughs> okay you were like oh my gosh <laughs> three out of ten maybe I don't know the churros were good we got churro bites that was really good um the burrito, it was good, but it's not as good as Chipotle or Quito burritos, but it was still pretty good. It was, it was up there, so. Oh, okay, but now we're heading to, where's it called again? Uh, the train thingy? 
Yeah. All around him, see? Yeah. yeah. successful Walmart run. We found these, apple pie Kit Kats, and we're gonna give them a little taste this year. Yeah. It's pretty good. Did you guys just see what he did? What did you do? What? Babe, that's how you eat them. How are you supposed to eat them? Babe, <laughs> stop! <laughs> oh my <God>. Trigger warning. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click the like button down below. It helps us out a great deal. If you enjoy this kind of content, you can subscribe right over here. I got plenty more content just like this already uploaded and on the way. So I hope you guys would subscribe and stick around.